A new blockbuster is set to open this weekend on the silver screen. Will it mean game over for Hunger Games? Eric Childress, vice president of the Chicago Film Critics Association, joins us now with more on The Avengers. And you love, love this film. I absolutely adore this movie. This is my favorite film of the year, without question. It's already doing well overseas. Yeah, it's done over uh, $220 million overseas so far, and that's just it opened a week earlier than it did here in the U.S., and I expect big numbers this weekend as well. Will it be our first billion-dollar film this year? I think it absolutely will. They're already projecting that if, you know, if it keeps doing as well as it is overseas, we're probably looking at probably about $600 million, maybe even more just overseas. And I think this movie is going to challenge the Hunger Games uh, three-day weekend this year of the $152 million, and I think it's going to do well over $400 million. What was so great about the film? You screened it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it is everything that comic book fans have been wanting their entire lives. It's everything movie fans should want, you know, when they go to see a big summer blockbuster. It's funny, it's exciting, it's all these characters we've come to love all put together in the same frame, all given, you know, sort of equal, you know, thrift throughout the movie. It's just wonderful. Do you think it will give a boost to Disney? Uh, well, I mean, Disney has, is, have the, has the connection with Marvel Studios now, so they're going to be releasing a lot of these movies along with Paramount Pictures. So I don't know if it's going to clean up the John Carter mess that they have you know, behind them, but you know, they should be very happy this weekend. So we're not going to get stock advice this time Not around. this time, no. Okay, let's take a look at what happened last weekend at the box office. Think Like a Man coming in number one again. Yeah, we said this you know, had a very good potential to have be a surprise hit for Screen Gems, which is a Sony division. And this year alone, uh, that division is going to have their two biggest hits. They had The Vow earlier this year at $124 million, and Think Like a Man should go well over $80 million and be their second biggest. The Pirates came in at $11 million, and really this is almost a three-way tie here mm -hmm. between The Hunger Games, The Lucky One, and the five-year engagement. Yeah, disappointing uh, start for the five-year engagement, uh, but it's really kind of a te uh, standing uh, testament to how well The Hunger Games is holding up by still being number three you know, a month in its, into its release, well into it. You're fresh back from your trip to CinemaCon. Yes. What happened? What did you like there? Well, we had you know, all the six major studios presented their lineups to all the theater owners across the country who attended, you know, through well through 2015. A lot of stuff coming out this summer, including extended footage from The Dark Knight. We saw some stuff from The Hobbit later this year. A, you know, a lot of stuff that we haven't even gotten images of. And yet the biggest response that we had at, this, uh, at the conference was for Universal's TED, which is the, new, the first film by uh, Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane about Mark Wahlberg and his foul-mouthed teddy bear that I think is going to be a huge surprise R-rated hit this summer. I don't even know what to say about that. Watch the trailer, you will love it. But well, first, watch The Avengers. And next time you come on, you'll talk about some of the other summer hits. Great to have you Absolutely. on the show today. Thank you. Eric Childress, Vice President of the Chicago Film Critics Association.